quarterfinal against Dina Eilstein. It was clinical yesterday against Hannah Ramadini. Saina Kawakami, she had a much tougher match yesterday playing uh, Fitriani of uh, Indonesia. Played 60 minutes in that match. After the prize presentation in uh, men's singles, we're just about ready to get the women on court. First seeded mega star Rachina Gintanan against Japanese teenager Saina Kawakami. Here's the um, court officials marching on court. And now, please welcome our players onto the course. Rechenok Intanon from Thailand. Here comes uh, the top seeded Rechenok Intanon, and there's a uh, lot of Thai supporters in the hall. At the SCG Thailand Open. She is three times world junior champion and won the singles titles at the world championships in 2013. Now we have some of them. Now please welcome from Japan, Seina Kawakami. The 19 year old has a current world ranking of 29. Coming into this tournament as the fifth seed, she is the Kawakami. seed on the way to the final. Kawakami 19 years of age, of won this tournament as a 17 year old in 2015. Open. Now she's back and trying to take a second Grand Prix gold title of the year. Presentation on court. Wants another hitting shovel. That's a new one. Some stats on uh, Rachin Aginton here, the 22 year old. Became the first player from uh, Thailand to be number one in the world. Holds a number of. Um, Different records, youngest ever champion of the uh, BWF Junior World Championship, and also the youngest ever women's single world champion, and she won it in 2013. Here's the road to the final. Reasonably convincing. Only lost the first game against Dina Ayustin, but. Uh, Totally in control in the second and the third game of that match. And her opponent, Seina Kawakami, stated that she's uh, 160 in height. Uh, I think she's a bit closer to Rachin, 169.
born in uh, Shimane in uh, Japan. This is only her sixth tournament this year, but her fourth final. So she definitely has some capabilities. Here's her road. Disposed of uh, two Chinese players and then Fitriani from uh, Indonesia, the second seed in uh, the semi final yesterday. Ready to play. The two players they've uh, never met before in uh, tournaments. Of course, also the same expectations like uh, we saw in the uh, mixed doubles that when you haven't played your opponent, you take it a little bit uh, cautious in the beginning. Just saw our umpires, Liu Yuxuan of uh, Chinese Taipei and Jean-Philippe Berge from uh, New Caledonia. A part of the Oceania Badminton Confederation. Amongst the spectators here today, I've seen a team from uh, Cook Islands. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Saina Kawakami, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Jachana. In Tanun, Thailand. The <laughs> Chanak in Tanun to, to serve. Lobo, play. Yep. Two very polite players here, both Rachinok and Kawakami. We got the women's singles One. final underway. No. Could be a very interesting match because uh, Kawakami is definitely one of the fastest players on the tour. That defensive shot there One. from oh. uh, Rachinok. It's not accurate, but I think they found the shuttle again. And the question, Two, of course, is um, one. can Ratchinak, as so many times before, take the control of the rallies and sort of um, work her opponent around the court with uh, accuracy and technical skills? <laughs> very, very good uh, net play from uh, Sena Kawakimi. Three, one. She's so quick on her feet. Look at that. Oh, well, uh, Kawakami's uh, speed ah! be uh, Four, one. a mental threat to uh, ah! Rachinak Intanon so that uh, mistakes will creep into her game. So base over two four. Started playing badminton at a very early age. Rajinog Intanon, her parents were working uh, at a um, sweets factory in uh, Bangkok, and ah! the owner was afraid that so Rajinog could get hurt. Five. Playing two um, in the factory, so she let her use the badminton hall that um, she also owned. And by the way, she had a son that was also in the national team, and he's actually in the coaching chair. 
of uh, Rachinag Intanon right now. So, strong relationship there. Wow, that's some powerful clears. Overdid the smash in the end. So they saw but, her. Um, there was a lot of pressure on those clears from uh, Seina Kawakami. Japanese coach uh, Sho Sasaki. Singles player, retired off the 2016 Olympics. It's gone wide. Service over. Six. Three. Rally. Excellent play by Rachina Gintanen. Ready there for the flat game. Five, six. Long. Perfect judgment by uh, Kawakami. Five. Excellent. That play Six, impossible eight. for Kawakami to. Return it. Tumbles over the net, so close to the net. There's a lot of shot that tumbles over the net and tumbles a little bit away, and it's much easier to return them. So it's about getting them as close as possible all the way down to the floor. Shot. 
chance. It's exactly that vision and that uh, technical uh, capability that Rachinok uh, thrives on. Play. Played it back to where Kawakumi came from. It's very, very difficult footwork and at the same time she had to cover for the straight smash. That was a very efficient shot, but was it a clear or was it a smash? Eight, nine. Very, very hard to judge, but no matter what, it was extremely efficient. Here he is, um, Patapan against Rizuk. International doubles player. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Ten, the first attacking nine. shot is so disguised that it puts pressure on uh, Kawakami. She's a little late and leaves too much time for Internant. Plays a perfect cross net drop. Uh, the top seed 11, 10. player from In Thailand, a one-point lead going into the interval here. Uh, Net play from uh, Kawakami. So it's over. 11 0. Oh. Like I said, she's just played five tournaments earlier this year, but um, she's won the Chinese Taipei Grand Prix gold and uh, also the recent Canada Open Grand Prix. And played. US Open Grand Prix Gold and lost to uh, Kirsty Gilmore in the quarterfinal. But she's not um, selected for the World Championships in two weeks' time in Glasgow because she's just a member of the Japanese B team. As in women's doubles, the women's singles got enormous depth in uh, Japan and there's 13 players amongst the top 100 in the world. 
There's very sharp restrictions on which kind of tournaments you can enter from Japanese side, so depending on your on the A team, the oh. B team, or not on any of those two teams. And uh, that might be the reason that we haven't seen more of uh, Kawakami, because I definitely feel that um, her playing level uh, would justify more than a place as 29 on the world ranking, but she's only played um, a couple of Super Series, 2016 Japan and 2017 India Open. Beautiful drop shot there, so much quality in it. Perception. You can see it steals 14, a step 13. from uh, Saina Kawakami and that decides the rally. Always a good way to tell if deceptions are efficient is to look at the opponent's legs. If they just stop for a millisecond, the deception has been okay, efficient. You. mistake there by uh, 15, Kawakami 13. and then again not because she knows that she has to play with good quality on the clears otherwise Rachanak will take over the initiative in the rally with uh, technical skills Sixteen, thirteen. there was a mistake again from, from um, the backhand side a little bit above shoulder level. We saw it with the punch clear or smash earlier on in the match, but um, it's not always easy to cover that particular part of um, the court. 17, 13. That was uh, three easy points for Ratchin Aginton on there. shoulder perhaps a little bit higher this time it but anyway it was a backhand shot that's not so easy for Kawakami service over 14 19 good run of uh, six points come to an end from uh, for Rachinak show me Hopefully. Five point lead now. Come on. Right. The base over twenty game point fourteen. Game point opportunities have occurred. Six to be precise for 
Right, you're against him. And there it is. Perfect yeah. placement. Earns her the first game. 21 14. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who would like to see Lee Chuk Yu and Peter's autograph, you'll be up here at the autograph area right now. So Lee Chuk Yu, take autographs upstairs. Second game here in the women's singles final. After a close start to the first game, then uh, Ratchnok into now quite easily One. took Love. the first game. Ratchnok, who of course is going to the World Championships in two <laughs> weeks' time in Glasgow. Seedings just come out and uh, she's seeded as number eight. This tournament must be so part of the preparation over. for the One. World Championships to get oh. some uh, match practice. Earlier discussed um, the injury history of um, Rachin Aginton, and I can see that he, she's got some medical tape on her right thigh here. And just hope it's nothing serious. Excellent placement here from uh, Saina Kawakami. There's the good clears again. Well, that one too long. The base over. Two. Oh. That's called good. The base over. Three, two. Perfect placement by Kawakami.
She holds it so long before she flicks that uh, lift there. Rachinak, but uh, good recovery by Kawakami. Four, two. Play. Fantastic touch that she's got. So this over three, five. Comes forward here. Showing a hard push and then becomes a soft touch cross court drop shot. Absolutely magnificent control. Shorts are sucking. Oh, fantastic shot again. So this over. takes so much control but um, we used to see her make these kind of shots so I mean you must remember to appreciate them how fantastic they are umpire just reminded Rachinak that she should not wander around court not delay the game to respect the straight smash Kawakami it's so hard for her to cover the short cross drop as well We saw one to away miss that shot, then uh, now also uh, Rachin Aginsenan, one of the very, very best technical players in the world. This just shows how difficult a shot it is. Especially when you're playing a player that is as quick on her feet as uh, Sayina Kawakami.
again. Survey's over. Seven. And playing eight. with that little drift that there is. It's a little bit harder for Kawakami to um, push her clears on this far side of the court. Pretty relaxed, um, Patapong and Gonzalezuk. Smashes like that that sets up the uh, cross court winners. Ten, seven. But a net mistake again from Internet. Kami's most probable shot was going to be the straight short one, maybe the only one that could actually be performed. Point lead for uh, fifth seed Sena Kawakami here at the interval. Played half an hour in this uh, women's singles final. Something about the clears, and if we 20 seconds, take away 20 the mistakes seconds. that Kawakami has made on the baseline, then she's been pretty dominant here in the second game. Judgment. It's gone wide. The base over. Nine, eleven. Kawakami. A 
Excellent. So base over. Defense from uh, Kawakami. Ten. Stops very short on uh, Rachinok's court side. Clear here. Look at where Kawakami's feet are. That clear is too short. She's still capable of hitting a winner on the next one, Rachinok Internet. But um, she can't afford to play short all the time. That's very lucky. Kawakami here hits the top of the net and plumb on the line. Attack there from 15, Japanese Horn. Very efficient, and uh, she stamped her mark on this second game. There it is. Cross smashes as part of the Japanese game plan. Straight clear, cross smash. And then you know that uh, Rachinak has technical skills to uh, play cross defense on the straight smash, so you might as well play cross and run directly. Coverage. Great save. Great save by Sena Kawakami. 17, 13. She sensed that it would be a cross from uh, Internet. Good coverage there by Internet. But uh, Kawakami alert to the return. Oh, that looked wide. It's well played. The base over. She retrieved 14, the cross court this time. 17. Kawakami. But uh, another excellent placed lift from uh, Internan does the trick. Still trailing by three points, though, in this um, second game.
looks like an uh, unforced error, but I think it's uh, mentally forced by the quickness of this woman. Gets an awful lot back at the moment. And uh, that requires Rachina Kintanon to play closer to the lines, closer to the net if, you, if she wants to win points. The base over 15, 19. Gone wide and uh, five game Party. point opportunities game point. to uh, Kawakami. Good comeback here in the second game where she's been rather dominant all the way through. Another save, and that wins her the second game. Yeah. This one was even more fantastic second than the first one. Fifty Senet Kawakami takes the second game against Rachina Gintanan with the score 21 16 after 40 minutes of play. Save here. Comes now. Absolutely amazing. the initiative in uh, the second game Kawakami and especially the cross smashes um, on both sides actually did the uh, job against uh, Rachel Hintanon Question is, can uh, Rachinak up her game here in the decider? I think she needs to. Final game, level play. A little nod to everyone before we can start. Oi, that's gone long. One love. Way, way too big arm swing by um, the top seeded uh, Rachin Argentina. The closer you get to the net, the less you want to Play. use your arm. You just want forearm and racket action.
So base over. One. Oh. So it's over. Two, one. So it's over. Two, oh. Seems like a good idea to put pressure on that um, backhand side there from. Um, Come on, come in. There's the Four. cross mesh. So this over. Three, two. Oh, that's magnificent. Four, two. She doesn't bite on uh, Rachinak's deception and makes a sh small one herself. well played and right now it seems like uh, Kawakami's physical skills are going to prevail doesn't seem like uh, Gintanan can keep up with the pace Can her exceptional technical skills help her out once again? So this over. Three, five. Going wide. Nope, it's called in. So this over. Six, three. Smash. But so it's over. Four, seven. Play. That's well played. 
Kawakami was looking for the cross. She couldn't save it. Great follow up from uh, Rachana Gintanam. Six, seven. Yeah, perfect. Tiny little mistake from the backhand side, but it's still worth a point. How on earth did she get that back? Sayna Kawakami. There was deception and net caught. And still, she managed to get it back, but uh, in the end, too easy for uh, Internan to cover the last one. Deception, net caught, gets it back. And actually, a very, very good effort from uh, Internan to get that back. Really, really close the return from uh, Kawakami. Long rally. So that's over. Eight, nine. Definitely feel these long rallies are more beneficial for Kawakami. Right. Satisfied with that call. Nine oh. So they over. Ten nine. Was she up at the net there? Rachana having a little look at her opponent. I think she was. That's well placed. On the line. 
Two point advantage Trent for uh, Rachinak Intanon. Saying something to the umpire here. I can't hear what it is. Maybe that she feels that uh, Kawakami is trying to influence the linesman. We're getting a real badminton treat today, spectators here in uh, North Shore Event Center. Yeah, Mova didn't get everything. Thank you. Excellent finals we've seen so far. to start with. It's gone long. So it's over. Ten, First point 11. to uh, Kawakami here after the interval and this was the uh, side of the court that she played so well on in the second game so very interesting to see what uh, Rachinak and uh, coach has come up with as uh, countermeasures And this is where I feel she, oh. she's missing half a step. Into that. A little slow on the front court. control and the possibility of putting pressure on the backhand side of uh, Seina Kawakami comes here little flick of the racket pressure on the backhand side and point for Thailand could be a good idea in the next rally as well Oi! Just tumbles over the net. So this over. That shot 12. from uh, Kawakami. Oh. And one of the things that worked so well for her in, in the second game was the use of cross smashes. And uh, let's hope she hasn't forgotten them. Oh, 
catching up. Good follow up. This over. 14, 13. A cross match, but good retrieval by Internet. Oh, deception! Oi! She trips. Hopefully, nothing happened. Oh my goodness! What a rally! I'm afraid Saint Nicola came in, twisted her ankle just a little bit. Hopefully, nothing bad happened. Comes here in the next shot. This one, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. The right angle, but um, I think she managed okay, to uh, keep most of her weight away from that angle, 15, so it didn't 13. totally uh, turn over. Seems like she's ready to play. Also an indication that some of the other shots might be long. Thank you. Umpires have been quite distinct here in um, Auckland with players not wasting time or delaying game. I like that. It's gone long as well. First set, how the first game, how um, Rachina took seven points in a row from 13 all to 2013. I don't know if uh, could be a little affected of uh, the situation. 19, well played here 15. by the former world champion, taking a four point lead only. Two points away from her second Grand Prix gold victory of the year. 
won her home event. The Thailand Open. Opportunities have occurred. Championship points for Rachina Gintana. Match point 15. Five of them. <laughs> Biggest star of the tournament. Play. About to live up to her top billing in women's singles. Done it. She's won the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open. She did it the hard way with a three game victory over Saina Kawakami. She looked under pressure at certain times in this match, but uh, you don't get to be the world champion if you can't stand a little pressure. It's going to be interesting to Thank see you. her in uh, Glasgow for the World Championships. 21, 14, 6, 16, 21, 21, 15. It's about to throw some rackets. I hope it doesn't hit me. It's actually quite close. A good tournament for Ranchin Argentinan. It's back to her winning ways. Here's confirmation of the score, 21-14, 16-21, 21-15 in an hour and five minutes. Huge congratulations to Ratchanak Intanen. Rachel, congratulations. Uh, very important win for you. Let's talk first of all, physically, where are you at right now as health-wise going into the World Champs? ครั้งนี้มานิวซีแลนด์เป็นครั้งแรกของชีวิตก็รู้สึกประทับใจที่มีคนให้การต้อนรับเป็นอย่างดีค่ะอย่าชีชีชีชีชีชีชีชีช
in between darling you and me make this thing complete we go drifting out to sea making memories your heart is all I need follow And now for the presentation of the 2017 Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open Women's Singles Final. Please welcome the presentation party. The trophies for this match will be presented by Alfred Wong from One Pure and Robert Jordan from Yonix. We would like to recognize the court officials for this match. Your umpire, Liu Yuxuan from Chinese Taipei and the service judge, Jean-Philippe Burgess from New Caledonia. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up of the 2017 Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open from Japan, Sena Kawakami.
the winner of the 2017 Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open Women's Singles from Thailand, Rajanok Intanong. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please congratulate our winners. So, fourth final concluded and on to the last final of the day, the men's doubles. The men's doubles, the only final that features the number one and two seed from Chinese Taipei, Chen Hongling and Wang Chilin. And from Malaysia, Ong Yu Sin and Tiu Yi Yi. Here we can see their road to the final and uh, the Chinese Taipei pair have been very, very uh, convincing throughout this tournament. Whereas uh, Ong and Tiu struggled a little bit in the quarterfinal against uh, Liao and Su. Also got off to a little bit of a shaky start yesterday, but uh, managed to steal the first game and was convincing in uh, the second game against her and Tan. we're about to see in just a little while just waiting for the court officials to come on court and of course our final match players. of the evening ladies and gentlemen is the Sky City New Zealand Badminton Open men's doubles the umpire for this match is Susan Taylor so the of Australia officials. the service judge and Paro Reo of Spain. Please welcome our players from Chinese Taipei, Ching Hang Ling and Wang Chi Lin. The top seeds for this event, they're currently ranked 12th in the world. They won Wang the Lin leading his the uh, older partner Open Chen Hongling on court. Chinese Masters. Already won two Grand Prix gold titles this year. And from Malaysia, please welcome Ong Yu Sin 